What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be going over a Shopify blog tutorial, how to set one up, how to add it to your Shopify site. We're also going to go over why you need a Shopify blog as it can be quite a bit of work to start. So why should you create one in the first place? So make sure you stay to the end of the video here as we're going to be covering quite a few things. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to come with a 15-day free trial and there's a link in the description below. Now we're going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. So let's dive into it now. Let's first go over why you're going to need a blog for your Shopify store. It can be kind of intimidating. You're going to have to write stuff. You're going to put it out there and possibly share it with your customers. So the first reason is that you're going to get a brand voice. Many online stores kind of have generic brands. They try to give that department store vibe without having the amount of products nor the discounts to be a department store. Department stores are kind of faceless for a reason. So they're trying to get you good products at a really good price. Whereas if you're selling on Shopify and you're not selling on Amazon, you're trying to create a more curated customer experience. You're building up a brand for your product. For example, maybe you're a clothing brand and you sell a specific type of clothing. You want to create a voice behind the brand as it's going to allow your customers to stay more connected to you. So you want to give your brand a voice as to why you created it, your story, the reason why you pick certain styles or certain items for your store. You can really create a more personal relationship, which should help increase customer trust here which is extremely important online. Second reason is for new traffic. Let's say you're a barbecue store and you sell barbecues. You can write a bunch of content on how to use barbecues properly, how to grill certain things. So if customers are searching online on how to find information on how to use the barbecue, they might stumble upon your store, read an article. Let's say you read an article on how to create the best meal for your family. And at the end of that article, you're going to link your own barbecues. They might say to themselves, wow, this Shopify store or this website really knows what they're talking about. They probably make good barbecues as well. So it's going to bring traffic to your website through information and education. And then from there, you can sell them a product, which is a much easier sell than saying, here's my barbecue, buy my barbecue. Rather, you're giving them information they need to then make an informed purchasing decision with the comfort of knowing you and your brand voice. Next two are tied together, so it's gonna be Boost SEO and Backlinks. These are gonna help increase your brand's visibility according to Google, and so hopefully it's gonna rank it higher here as you continue to write good content and bring traffic in through your blog. You're gonna get SEO opportunities to rank higher in Google. Backlinks will also help give authority to your website. And so backlinks are other websites linking to your website. And if you can get some reputable backlinks here, this can further improve your brand's discoverability. Lastly, it's gonna to be to educate customers. It could not only be pre-purchase, but poach purchase as well. Let's say you're the owner of one wheel and you sell a skateboard product or something similar. You can then educate your customers on how to use it, how to take care of it, how to clean it, and how to make the most of their purchase. It's going to make customers more invested in the products they buy. It's also going to allow you to develop a relationship here, or if you're a shoe brand, maybe it's how to take care of your shoes, how to wear them properly, and how to repair them if there are any damages. This should hopefully lead your customers to build that relationship. So next time they're thinking of purchasing something again, let's say it's a pair of shoes here, they're going to come back to your Shopify store rather than choosing someone else. As we always say here on this channel, it's so much easier to get an existing customer back to purchase from you than it is to go out and get a new customer. So it's always so important here to create really good customer relationships and a blog can help do that. So now we understand why you should be creating a Shopify blog. Let's go into how to actually set one up. So I've logged in here to our developing Shopify store here. This is just for test purposes. And so once you're in your dashboard, you want to click into online store. This is going to open up several tabs on the left and you wanna hit blog posts. So this is gonna be the section where you're gonna be creating your blog posts, creating your different types of blogs, as well as editing them as well. So I have a random post here. I'm gonna go into add a blog post just to show you how to actually create one. So it's gonna be organized very similar to Shopify products. You need your title as well as a text editor here. Now this really isn't the best text editor, so I recommend writing it in a different medium such as Google Docs or Word, as it's gonna allow you more formatting options. And it might be a better writing experience as you're not gonna be distracted by your Shopify stores and how many sales it's generating. So let's go into here. Let's call this random intro post. This will be the first blog post. Next, I'm just going to grab some sample text here just to fill out the blog post. Next doesn't mean anything, but it's going to make it look a little nicer in two different paragraphs. So overall, that's super easy. You also get different formattings for heading, bold, italic underlines, as well as different bullet points, underlining. And you can add different media here. You can add links, a table, images, or a video. 
and you can clear formatting if you don't like what you see. We have the expert section. So this is going to be a summary of the post to appear on your homepage or blog. So if you're viewing a list of your blog posts on your website, this is going to be a summary of what it is. The search engine listing preview is going to show what your blog is going to look like to Googlers or users who are searching on any search engine and what they're going to see here. So you can see the title followed by the first few sentences. Then comments, if you have comments enabled, you can see them here. On the right hand side, you can set your blog post invisible or hidden and also set a date on when it's going to be visible. Maybe you have a publishing schedule where you're going to write your blog post all at once then have them released every week. Next is a featured image. So then this is going to tie back to when your blog posts are listed, what's going to show up there. Next is going to be the organizational stuff. So you can set the author, the Jamie Jamie here. We can put your name, an employee's name or anything that you want really there. The next is which blog you need to attach it to. You can either attach it to an existing blog, create a new blog there, and then add certain tags to give it some categories here. Then you're also going to get a template. So you can assign a template from your theme here. So this current theme just has a default blog post. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Something I want to add to this blog post well is just to include an image as I think that's going to look a little better. So I'm just going to select this one, give it an alt text of forced because that's kind of what's there and then set it as a banner image overall. Next, I want to make it visible so we can view it on our website and hit save there. Next, you may be wondering if you have multiple blogs, how do you manage them? You just hit the blog post page here again on the left and hit manage blog here. You can either add one or view your existing blogs, get into the website SEO for it and set if comments are allowed or not. All right, so now we have our first blog post posted. Now, how do we show users on our website? As if we go to our website here, we can just see home catalog, but there's no way for the user to access it. So the way you're gonna do that here is you wanna head back to the left section here, head down to navigation. Once you're there, you wanna look at the menu section. So let's add it to both the main menu and the footer menu. And it's gonna depend where you want to include it. What you're going to do is hit add menu item. I'm going to title this blog. Then you're going to search for it. I'm just going to search for blog here. So you can either add specific blog posts or the blogs overall. I'm just going to add the news blog here. Hit add. And just like that, it's going to be added to the footer menu. Once I hit that save button, now I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the main menu section. Again, title it blog. Then going to go to blogs, hit that news blog again, and just hit add followed by save. So now it should be added to both menus. Now, once I reload the Shopify theme here, I can see that on the top. So blog as well as the bottom under quick links, because I added that to the footer menu, it's going to say blog as well. If I click on it, I'm headed to the blog section. It's titled news. I'm going see my first random intro post. And if I hit read more, it's going to open up the full post there. Overall, that's how you add a blog to your website in your Shopify store. It's a pretty simple process here. Shopify has made it quite easy to do. So hopefully that's easy to follow along there. So this is going to include the video on Shopify blog tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Any suggestions you would make? Would you have trouble setting up your blog? Just let me know in the comments there. Lastly, I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc, again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a 15-day free trial, and there's a link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below, as that really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.